with Airbus's newest A320neo variant, the A321XLR, coming soon. What does Boeing have to offer? Will the newest MAX variant, the 737 MAX 10, even be comparable to the XLR's upgraded range and capabilities? Stay tuned to see both of these aircraft go head to head. Before I dive into this comparison, make sure to consider subscribing to my channel. More great aviation content is planned on a weekly basis. Also, if you're interested in flight simulation content, make sure to go check out my second channel, Avid Flight Simulation. With the recent news, anticipating the majority of 737 MAX 10 deliveries to be delayed all the way into 2023, this brings some interesting points. The A321XLR is also anticipated to be first delivered in 2023, with deliveries going to some key customers like American Airlines. So, with both aircraft being released at the exact same time, are they comparable aircraft? Well, let's dive into capacity and range. The A321XLR has a large capacity, in between 180 to 220 passengers, compared to a similar capacity for the 737 MAX 10 of 188 to 220 in a typical configuration. Both aircraft are nearly identical in capacity, so let's see if range will put them apart. The A321XLR has, not surprisingly, a much better range, with 8,700 kilometers of it. The 737 MAX 10 pales in comparison, with only 6,110 kilometers of range. This is not surprising, as the extra long range of the XLR is the main reason Airbus is manufacturing it. The XLR has extra fuel tanks, which make its capabilities much superior as far as range goes, so the impact of having a much superior range depends on the airline. The 737 MAX 10 will mostly only be useful for short haul routes with a lot of demand while the A321XLR has more flexibility to even fly medium range flights with low to moderate demand. That is the reason why many have pointed to the XLR as the best 757 replacement in the market today. So while the 737 MAX 10 is capacity wise similar, the range makes the XLR a much more flexible aircraft. But what about efficiency? Which aircraft will have a better fuel burn? Well, as there are no sure numbers online that I could find, I will point to a couple observations that could lead to one of the aircraft being more or less efficient than the other. The biggest point to make are the extra fuel tanks added to the Airbus A321 XLR. Extra fuel tanks leads to extra weight, which leads to a lesser fuel burn for a route of the same distance. So, as even the A321neo seems to burn slightly more than the 747 MAX 8, the comparable MAX aircraft, I believe that A321XLR would probably burn more than the 747 MAX 10. There is no way to know for sure, but this is an educated guess. So with the aircraft being identical in capacity, the XLR having so much more range, yet most likely having a slightly worse fuel burn, which aircraft is superior? Well, it depends on the situation for different airlines. but. As far as technical specifications go, the A321 will be superior. The extra versatility that the tremendous range makes it, unrivaled air makes it an unrivaled aircraft in its class. And while the 737 MAX 10 may be capacity-wise similar, the other specifics are extremely lacking compared to the A321XLR. Do you agree with this assessment? Do let me know down in the comments below. If you haven't already, make sure to consider giving this video a like. Also. Make sure to go check out my brand new aviation website, theavidaviator.net, where you can find all of my content as well as more frequent updates from me. That is it for this video, I will see you in the next.